Hey guys, Dean Hansen here. I'm about to show you how to take your Libsyn RSS feed, your podcast feed, and migrate it to SoundCloud. I'm going to do it really fast. You'll know how to do this in about 30 to 60 seconds. After that, after I show you how to do it, I'm going to talk about whether you should or shouldn't do it. Um, and stick around for that because you might be surprised. Here we go. So set up a SoundCloud account, obviously, since you're migrating over to it. Go into your settings and go to content. So that's the RSS feed you're trying to migrate to. That's the RSS feed that you want iTunes to be linked to, correct? So right now iTunes is linked to your Libsyn feed and you want to link it. You want to switch over to SoundCloud to be your media host. So let's go over to destinations, which is where I already am. But you log in, go to destinations, hit edit on the Libsyn classic feed. We're going to edit that feed. You may have renamed this, but just go to your RSS feed, edit it, go to advanced options down at the bottom. Down at the very bottom of advanced options, you'll see this extra RSS tags. You're going to copy and paste some code here. I will put this code in the description. Or you can find this article. I'll put a link to the article as well, which walks you through everything I'm walking you through now. But it's kind of confusing, so I recommend this video. Copy and paste this code into the extra RSS tags section. The only thing you have to change is you don't want it to be HTTP www.yourfeed.com. You're going to actually cut that out, that section that's obviously not real. And you're going to paste in your new SoundCloud RSS feed. Copy and paste. Once that's pasted, it in you hit save and boom that's it you have essentially taken your Libsyn RSS feed that was uploaded to that was given to iTunes and now it is linked through to your SoundCloud feed that's it that's all there is to it now stick around if you want me to talk more about it more in depth if if you're wondering if it's a good idea you might think it's a good idea and I'm going to tell you it's probably not because an hour ago at this time I thought it was a good idea too and now I've changed my mind once I actually did it. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because I could not find a single video on YouTube that taught you how to do this. And I didn't find a lot of content that explains the major differences between Libsyn and SoundCloud and there are some huge major differences that make Libsyn a better choice in my opinion. So here we go. You've learned how to do it. I'm gonna hit cancel because I did it today and I undid it because it was a bad idea. So with Libsyn for five bucks a month, that's their entry level plan, you get 50 megabytes of upload per month, which is really low and you kind of have to dumb down the audio to fit more than about an hour of content per month on the website. And so I was pretty excited when SoundCloud started doing podcast hosting and uh, they're offering three hours. Instead of 50 megabytes, they're giving you three hours. And so you can actually do high quality audio and three hours. But here's the kicker. They only give you three hours, period. That's all they give you, not every month. Libsyn gives you 50 megabytes per month and you can continuously upload your podcast 50 megabytes per month and all the old stuff stays on the server. It stays there. So you theoretically have unlimited storage as long as you put it up in small chunks. Whereas SoundCloud, once you hit three hours, you have to delete the older content, meaning you can only really have probably three to six episodes on your podcast at a time and you have to start deleting older content, which I don't like that idea at all. If you're okay with that, if your podcast is a show that 
<coughs> basically just only needs to have the most recent information uploaded that's fine most people want their podcast to stay online indefinitely you, you know you want to be able to tell people go back and listen to episode one three years ago and catch up you know that's kind of the way podcasts work and soundcloud doesn't give you that unless you bump yourself all the way up to their fifteen dollar a month unlimited plan which is a good plan for fifteen dollars a month however i wanted to spend five dollars a month or less for my podcast that gets three hits a day right so it just depends on what you want to do but that's a huge difference and that's why I backed away so let me get to another point is once you do this switch it sends your new RSS feed over to SoundCloud and you're gonna to have to re-upload all your old episodes to SoundCloud because now it's not going to Libsyn anymore it's going to SoundCloud and you're gonna have to redo everything and as I was redoing I have about 10 episodes of my podcast amateur tech talk and I uploaded the first four episodes and I ran out of space right away so not only was I not even able to put up my last 10 episodes I couldn't even put up a new episode if I wanted to and we're recording one tomorrow so SoundCloud isn't going to work for me. It just isn't. And that's depressing because I was really excited. Once I found out that I could switch over, which isn't easy to just know how to find that code and insert it. I was so excited about two hours ago. I'm like, I'm switching over. I called my co-host and told him I got it figured out and we're going to switch over to SoundCloud. It's going to work out great. We're going to have three hours of audio every month. I thought every month because that's how other podcast hosts work, but no, nah, SoundCloud only gives you three hours period, so it's not a good idea to switch over for most people. Maybe you're only going to upload a few episodes and that's it, then yeah, SoundCloud's good, but if you're going to continue the show and you want people to have the ability to go back to older episodes, you have to choose Libsyn. I mean, there's prob. I mean, I know there's other sources too, but Libsyn's only five bucks a month. And as far as I know, there's not a free service. So that's that. I hope this video helped you guys and uh, have fun podcasting to a sea of people who will never listen to us. 